Building a home theater system or a gaming setup can be very pricey, especially if you're using a traditional TV. But ever since Texas Instruments released Matrix Chip, we've seen an influx of affordable 4K projectors in the market. However, the brightest and the most affordable one you can purchase right now is this, the ViewSonic PX747. A sub $1,300 4K projector that was sent to us by ViewSonic to review. Considering the 4K claim, it might seem too good to be true, and somewhat it is. The actual image is 1920 by 1080 but what the Texas Instruments chip enabled was pixel shifting. A clever trick that shifts the red and blue sensors by fractions of a pixel to create a sharper image. Although I've heard from other sources that there is a slight difference when looking at the ViewSonic image side by side with a true 4K projector. But those usually run a few thousand dollars more. Now if somebody told me that this was a true 4K projector, honestly I wouldn't even know. The image is so sharp that I couldn't even tell the difference. Now unfortunately the projector does not come with built-in Wi-Fi, however it does have a wide variety of connections on the back. We get audio in and out ports, VGA, HDMI, and a mini USB along with a few other ports. The projector also has a 12 volt trigger which can be used with a motorized screen so when the projector gets powered on, the screen will automatically lower which is pretty cool. Also on the back of the projector you'll find a Kensington lock which is great if you want to use this in a classroom or an office to secure the projector. And on the top there is uh, two wheels, one is for zoom and the other is for focus. Also up here we got a few buttons, we got one for power as well as a few other options if you want to change settings right from the projector. However, it does come with a backlit remote. Although it's not the prettiest remote out there, it does give you quick access to some settings you can change on the fly instead of reaching to the projector to do it. So on both sides of the projector, you'll find the vents and it's for the built-in fans inside. And they do ramp up as you begin using the projector over time. However, if you're playing games or watching content on it, you hardly even hear them. All right, taking a look on the bottom of the projector, you will find two adjustable feet, which lets you adjust the height and as well as mounting points if you do decide to mount this on the ceiling, for example. Guys, you can project up to 300 inches, which is just mind-blowing. You can make your very own private home theater system, assuming you even have that much space on your wall to use. Unfortunately, I don't have a wall big enough in my office or back at my home to utilize the full 300 inches. This thing gets up to 3500 lumens, which makes it one of the brightest we have seen. What this means for the user is that you can use it during both daytime and nighttime. But at higher brightness levels, the colors do get a little washed out, so make sure to watch out for that. So the lamp inside this thing can last up to 15,000 hours, and that's using Super Eco mode, which also lowers the brightness. Now, if you're watching content, uh, with maximum brightness the entire time, then that lowers the lifespan to around 4,000 hours. All right, so let's talk gaming. I'm gonna take this downstairs to the gaming den, load up Fortnite and Uncharted on my PS4 Pro and see how it handles while gaming. Hi right, guys, so I'm playing Fortnite right now and it looks incredible. The cool thing about this is that I don't even notice any input lag, which is crazy considering the size of the projection. So yeah guys, if you game on your TV, uh, you're not gonna tell the difference in input lag switching over to this projector. Unless you have a crappy TV, then it's gonna be a lot quicker. All right, now the audio quality on the projector is pretty bad. It's a 10 watt speaker and let me actually increase it to max. That's max. It doesn't even get that loud and the quality is not even great. So I do strongly recommend using an external audio source. For example, for our setup, we are using an LG soundbar and it sounds so much better. Another thing you get with the projector is HDR. So if you're watching HDR content or playing HDR games, you're gonna take advantage of that amazing dynamic range. You get deeper blacks, vivid colors. Needless to say, if you combine all that with the soundbar, it makes the entire viewing experience that much more immersive. The blacks are deep, but it won't compare to an OLED or even other projectors at a higher price point. And out of the box, the colors were a little washed out, but that was easily fixed by tweaking the color profile. Since the image is being projected on a wall 
and not being displayed on a panel, just like traditional TVs, there's gonna be no color shifting. So you can pretty much watch this from any angle and there will be no distortion. So what types of content can you consume with the projector? Honestly, it pretty much supports anything that has HDMI. Uh, anything from console gaming to PC, you can even hook up your Roku or Fire TV or even just your cable box. So if you have DirecTV or Time Warner, you connect it via HDMI and you're pretty much good to go. As someone who's never used a 4K projector for consuming content or especially playing games, I gotta say it was a positive experience overall switching over from a standard TV. The image quality really impressed me. You get a screen size up to 300 inches and a portable form factor. But who's this projector for exactly? Well, first of all, I wanna say that it's not for people looking to replace their current TV. It's more for people that wanna build this awesome entertainment or even a home theater system right in their room. Someone who has the necessary space on their wall to take advantage of the massive 300 inches and also somewhere that you can control the lighting. Imagine having a projector set up and inviting your friends or guests over. That's pretty awesome, to be honest. If you got the space and room for it, and you do plan on using it multiple times a week, then this would be a really nice upgrade to your current home. But if you're not gonna be using it as constantly and you don't have the space for it, then it would be a waste of money to buy it. But anyways, that does it for my review of the ViewSonic PX747. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll drop a link to it down below. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one.